Kedu ebe, wie. Kedu ebe, wie. So you can either ask with ebe or kedu ebe. It still means we are. We are going to give examples, okay? We are still citing the markers, okay? The definite words and phrases used. Then, the next one is, Kedu onye, who? Kedu onye, who? Onye, who? Onye, who? Kedu etu, how? Kedu etu, how? Kedu mbe, when? Kedu mbe, when? Ole mbe, when? Ole mbe, when? Kedu mke, which one? Kedu mke, which one? So you find out that kedu is more consistent. So most of Igbo questions um kedu feature in it we use kedu to you know to ask lots of questions in Igbo. okay when we use kedu we then we can use the the other definite words that um that play the role okay so in our examples you see what i meant examples example means omo mouth examples gini meregi what happened to you gini meregi what happened to you Guinea, what, Mary, happened? Gi, you. Kedu ihe Mary gi. What happened to you? So, you can as well ask, Kedu ihe Mary gi. So, either one's works. Depends on individual choice of sentences. So, you can either say, Gini Mary gi, or Kedu ihe Mary gi. Alright? The next one is, Gini ebu ahagi. Ginebu Ahagi, what is your name? So we say Ginebu Afa. Another way of asking that question is Kedu Ahagi, what is your name? By the way, Afa is dialect. Why Aha is used as a central Igbo word. Okay. Ginebu Ahagi or Kedu Ahagi, either goes. It all means what is your name. The next is Giniki Choro, what do you want? Guinea key choro, what do you want? You can as well say kedu he choro, what do you want? So guinea key choro and kedu he choro both means what do you want? Ebe ki bi, where do you live? Ebe ki bi, where do you live? So you can as well say kedu e bi bi, where do you live? Kedu e bi bi. Where do you live? Then, Kedu Ebisi, where are you from? Kedu Ebisi, where are you from? Ebe Kisi, where are you from? Ebe Kisi, where are you from? Ebe Kinaga, where are you going? Ebe Kinaga, where are you going? So, if you are starting with Ebe, you have to put Ka. It's a conjunction before you can complete the sentence, okay? So, ebe kibi, kedu ebi ibi. Ebe ki naga, kedu ebi naga. Okay? Good. The next one is, kedu onye di ha ho. Who is that? Or who is that person? Kedu onye di ha ho. Who is that? Onye di ha ho. Who is that? So, you can as well say, kedu onye or onye. So, kedu onye di ha ho. Onye di ha ho. All means who is that pronounced as onye de inhe aho in pronunciation level because onye de ha ho onye de ha ho in ha ho in ha ho you see good kedu e tuode how is it kedu e tuode how is it you can as well say kedu kode how is it kedu kode how is it the next one is Kedu mbwe gabia, when will you come? Kedu mbwe gabia, when will you come? Why others will say, ole mbwe biara, or ole mbwe gabia. So, ole mbwe gabia means, when will you come? Ole mbwe biara means, when did you come? Hmm? Ole mbwe igabia, when will you come? Kedu mbwe igabia, 
when will you come the next one is kedun ki choro which one do you want english can as well say which do you want but Igbo we have to put the the inke okay that inke standing as one in this contextual usage okay kedun ki choro which one do you want kedun ke i choro which one do you want or kedun kobu which of it kedun kobu which of it i believe you've learned something today so practice it more hmm? practice it more and then you see that they are actually easy they are easy just from you know each of them i have pairs try and see the one you can use to communicate okay the one that is more easier for you i just gave you options to choose from in communication so it's even, even advisable for you to know what both mean so that when others are using it in communication you should be able to understand them because there is no one way of saying something in Igbo. there are several ways of representing um one thing you understand so with this lesson on how to ask questions in Igbo, you should be able to ask simple questions in Igbo language see you in my next lesson i am your favorite Igbo language teacher